So one of my favorite places to shop down here in South Florida are the thrift stores and Goodwill, places like that. You know, every year people come down here from the north, rich people, they buy places, other rich people sell their places, they leave things behind, so practically everything gets donated. They just, I mean, these places are loaded with good stuff. I bought a 48 inch LED TV for the other bedroom for 60 bucks. So I walk into Goodwill and what do I see but this? Cincinnati Reds clock. So I had to have this like five bucks. But listen to this. Can you hear that? It's entirely too loud. So I gotta fix this. It's not entirely fixed, but it's a lot better. Duct tape can fix anything. One of my problems is the feet on this big cutter that I have uh, that doesn't have casters, so I can't move it around easy. So I have to take one of these off, take it to Lowe's, match up the threads, and uh, see if I can order some casters to put on this thing or thread it in. Speaking of casters, if you have not replaced your plastic casters on your office chair with these rubber wheels, head on over to my Amazon store, the link's right there on the screen, and buy these and pop them into your office chair. They make your chair super quiet, smooth, and fast. So at the beginning of the video, you saw it's Molly's birthday today. Uh, today's actually Saturday, 6-4. You won't see the video until Sunday, 6-5. But Molly turns six years old, so she got her birthday brushing. and. Tammy bought her a new bandana that had flamingos on it uh, a couple days ago. Uh, so she went out for a normal walks today and everything and got to enjoy laying around, taking it easy today, kind of like she does every day. But, uh, you know, it's, it, we've had Molly since she was like eight or nine weeks old. I don't know what we'd do without her. Uh, those of you who've been following me for a while, you know, saw, have seen her in videos and she's been around, you know, when we had the company and she used to run around the warehouse and 
people you know, would pet her. She just brought so much joy and happiness to everybody. That's what she does for us. Um, I mean, it, it, it's just amazing what a part of our family she is. Uh, I, I could say enough about her and uh, just golden retrievers in general, I guess, as companion dogs. I'm sure everybody believes their breed of dog is the same way, but uh, you know, that dog is, is something special to us. And uh, so today, um, we did the GM worked out. You see a picture posted behind me here on the monitor. I posted that picture on social media today and uh, wanted to brag just a little bit about myself. I was kind of proud. I'm down 43 pounds this year and uh, it's probably a lot more fat loss than that. I've, I would say that I've put on at least a few pounds of muscle on top of that. Muscle gain doesn't come nearly as fast as fat loss goes away when you do it properly. But, um, you know, there's probably somewhere close to a 50 pound difference here in fat and body content. I think my body fat has dropped about four or five percent. Uh, going to the gym three to five times a week on average. Uh, people, multiple people ask me how I've done it. So first of all, intermittent fasting. So I only eat between uh, about noon and eight every day. I try to, to limit eating, any taking in anything calorie, any calories outside of those windows. And uh, that's good for your metabolism and it allows, it gives you a 16 hour period where you're not taking any calories. And after a certain period of time without taking in calories, your body starts to consume fat for the energy. So really good. And what was really strange, I started doing this last summer after I met a guy through when I worked for Cricket out in Utah. And he told me, he told me about it and he had lost, uh, I think he said 57 pounds or something doing it. And uh, his, it, you know, it, one of the things I told him that I noticed was the first two or three weeks, it, it kind of just really changed my digestive system. I felt like I just felt better. Uh, it's hard to explain. That was the first thing. Second thing, um, and I've done this for quite a while, but eliminated at least probably 90% of fast food and junk food and things. Uh, you know, I still have an ice cream every once in a while. I might throw a, a Twinkie in the, in the uh, air fryer and warm it up. Uh, but other than that, uh, you know, really cut out junk food and really cut out the McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King. Those three things right there were huge, getting rid of allergies. I did actually did that about five years ago, six years ago. And uh, that, that was, you know, that eliminated almost all seasonal allergies for me. I've done that twice in my life. The first time I wasn't sure if that was it or not. The set, over the years, it crept back into my diet. And then the second time I did it, I had the same result. Allergies came back and everything, and then when I did it the second time, seasonal allergies went away. Um, it's got to be the preser preservatives and the fillers, all that stuff in the food, uh, but no seasonal allergies. And uh, so that's the second thing. The third thing was I uh, put my foot out in front of me, and I turned it, and I stepped forward and walked and went to the gym. <laughs> um, you know, I've been people make fun of Planet Fitness, but I in a video yesterday, but. If you're getting in your car and driving to Planet Fitness, you're probably doing more than 80% of the people out there. Uh, so I go, I get incredibly good workouts there. They're not the same as when I had a personal trainer when I was working out with Marcus. He is a CrossFit trainer. So it was more of a whole body workout for me then. I was probably in better cardio and better uh, overall condition back then. But um, my body strength, everything, I'm, I'm having more success with the weight loss, things like that, that I'm doing now. And at 52 years old, I thought, okay, I can brag a little bit. I'll post the picture on social media. And it was funny because what happened was I got two or three comments on that Instagram uh, post that said uh, the, there were companies that wanted to do collabs with me. So it's not uncommon for someone who has plenty of followers to get uh, opportunities to collaborate with uh, companies as brand ambassadors or influencers or whatever you want to call them. And you know they all send you products, you do reviews, maybe unboxings or just you know some people if you're big enough they just want you to wear their sunglasses in your videos or, or whatever it is. And uh, then you can you know, make commissions, referrals, affiliate codes, those kind of things. And uh, so I thought, well, that's kind of weird because I've posted on Instagram plenty of times before and never had any of this. And uh, I had three or four of those types of comments. I thought it was kind of strange. 
And uh, the first one uh, responded to, and I said, uh, so tell me how we team up. And they sent me this big long thing. They said, okay, we, here's our website. Uh, you basically buy one pair of sunglasses and add three more pairs, whichever four pair you want in your cart. We'll give you a coupon code. You get three pairs for free. The first pair, you know, they were all like 60 bucks, 59.99. That actually was in pounds. It was, an, it was a UK based company. So the like website says. And uh, then they say, uh, you know, we want you to do unboxing, whatever. Um, and then they give you the opportunity how much money you'll make uh, from referrals and everything. And uh, I, having worked in IT for 25 years, have been, you know, just around tons of phishing scams and you know, all these things that uh, a lot of people kind of fall for. And, and I've just, I, I can see through these things pretty quickly. So I did a quick search of the company, sure enough, that, I think there was one site that ranks the trust level and it was like a, a, a 3.9 out of 100. <laughs> and uh, then I found another there was all these reviews that people said they were scanned by them and everything. So I messaged them a little bit back and forth and just asked some questions. So I, so I said, uh, and then they claimed that their sunglasses were made by the same factory that makes Ray-Ban sunglasses. So my first question was, are your lenses glass or are they plastic, polycarbonate, or some other material? What are they? And they came back with this explanation of our glasses are made of this type, these types of materials, varying materials, blah, blah, blah. And I said, so what are your lenses made out of? And they said, if you go to our website and look at the items, each one tells what the lenses are. So I looked, and sure enough, you know, those they were polycarbonate, which isn't bad. Um, but then I was like, okay, so what's happening here really is uh, first of all, if someone is really wanting you to collaborate or work on something and you have enough of a following, which I don't on Instagram, I don't have a very big following on Instagram um, because I've just never focused on it, but um, they will send you products generally for free and pay you to do the advertisements and things like that. And I'm, you know, My son has a much bigger YouTube channel than I do and he makes a lot of money doing brand deals for and doing ads for companies on his videos. Uh, so. <laughs> If you're interested in his channel, I know a lot of people are going to ask, it's called Tyler Tube, and uh, he does like, uh, I guess I could explain it as backyard redneck scientist stuff, I don't know. But he has this audience, he makes a ton of money, uh, and does better than I do. But anyway, um, so I just started messaging with him back and forth, just to kind of try to mess with him a little bit, and I said, how large is your company? And they said, uh, is that important to you? <laughs> I said, well, I only work with quality products, and they, they went back and forth. Here's the some of the uh, put some of the chat on the screen, and I told them, I said, I've never had a company ask me to pay for products to promote them for them. I said, companies typically send me uh, products that cost might cost you know, even several hundred dollars, or maybe even over well over a thousand U.S. dollars to do promotions for them, and uh, they actually, as you'll see there, they reacted with a laughing face on my comment. And uh, so I said, you know, that doesn't do much to promote your brand when you're laughing at something an influencer told you. I was just going back and forth, giving them a hard time. And uh, so finally I sent them the link to the reviews and yeah, you know, they never replied after that. But if you're on, if you're on Instagram uh, and posting, you know, and apparently Instagram's the one that they hit this with a lot, uh, I think TikTok, they're doing some of it, and uh, you know, asking you to, to be a brand ambassador, uh, those kind of things. And they're all wanting you to uh, buy certain products. So this scam, basically, they're probably selling like $3 sunglasses for 60 bucks, claiming they're giving you three more pairs, so you think you're getting $180 worth of products uh, for 60 bucks. Um, and, uh, then, or getting them free when you pay sixty dollars for the one pair, you're really paying sixty bucks for probably a three dollar pair of glasses, and then they're giving you, um, you know, three more pairs. So they've got like ten, twelve bucks in them, and you're paying sixty bucks for all of them, if you even get them. A lot of people were saying they were scammed and they never got their order, uh, never got their product and stuff. But uh, then another one messaged me, um, and so I told them I said, uh, you know, I only work with. Uh, I approached this one a little differently. I said, I only work with companies that provide the products uh, for evaluation and review. Uh, I don't pay for them. They send them to me for free. And so they said, well, here, we're going to give you a, it was also in uh, UK, uh, uh, 
website supposedly and they said we're going to give you a 300 pound um, coupon code and you buy as much as you want you only have to pay for the shipping since we have to use a third party shipping provider so I looked on the website and they have all these things like Bluetooth earbuds things like that but they're like a hundred dollars a set hundred hundred fifty dollars a set all this stuff and they pretty much look like the pictures of the ones on Amazon that you can get for like twenty thirty dollars so these are all scams that are out there they're just finding new ways to try to penetrate social media try to get people to uh, you know, spend money on their products work with them uh, you know and, and just scam people out of more and more money uh, a couple years ago there was uh, a lot of ads on Facebook uh, the and these usually hit around Christmas every year they're fake product ads and they're hard to, to nail down but they were uh, drone because drones were so hot a few years ago and everybody was wanting to buy a drone the only good drones were available were like over a thousand dollars and so they, there were these ads that were like you know this is a 69 dollar drone or whatever and really they were showing a DJI drone in the ad and then when you bought it uh, you got it and it was like this little tiny drone that was this big um, and then because of the way they did it you had a hard time getting a refund through paypal and everything because uh, of all the logistics involved or maybe they just after they got so much money they shut the site down and just disappeared got your money but now you know all these things they get people who are excited that that think that they're going to make money on social media and think uh well i'm going to be a brand influencer or maybe a brand ambassador you know they use all these words and and it, people you know think they're going to become famous and make money uh get free products all these things and they're just trying to scam you so uh, i was just amazed at the level of, of idiocy really that is taking place out there still on these scams and apparently they work because there's still people that fall for them uh obviously on those reviews there were people who said i spent money on this stuff <sighs> don't do it people don't do it uh don't if you're on social media you get offers to be a, an influencer or something i have yet to see a legitimate company that requires you to buy anything from them in order to um be a, an influencer and, and you work with their company uh, they have their products they'll send them to you for free uh, if you're big enough they'll pay you uh, to, to feature them in your videos or do ads or whatever sometimes they if you're not big enough you might be able to work out a, a deal for uh, you know affiliate codes to make commission on them things like that but yeah scams are for me so we did go this evening to Dixie Fish Company here in uh, Fort Myers for dinner. Uh, it is probably my favorite place that I have been so far here. We've, we've been there a few times. We were here a few, there a couple of times when we were just visiting here. Been there several times this year. And there's just something about the place. It's The food is good, it's above average. It's I mean, I would say the food's excellent, I love it. Uh, it's just very, very good. Everything's been good and consistent. They have the best tasting drink I've ever had in my life I think of anything I've ever had it's called a toasted pina colada and has like toasted coconut in it uh, it is unbelievable it's like drinking a dessert wow um, so if you ever go there get one of those and uh, but it, it's right in the water on the in the inner you know, on the inside of the uh, Fort Myers Beach Island um, on the mainland side just right off the edge of the bridge it's right next to dock forwards i think it's owned by the same uh people uh because their napkins all say dock forwards on them and everything but uh boy it, it, and if you get a table that's right next to the water in the evening you're facing east so the sun's not hitting you it's breezy there's boats just oh you watch the birds and the pelicans unbelievable so here's a little bit of footage from dinner tonight <music> Thank you. 